Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Got him. Wow, that's fat. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> this is the biggest bass I've ever seen by so much. You're supposed to be bringing stuff in, Mark, not stuff out. Oh, the fridge is right here. Right here. <laughs> here open that and I'll pass the picture. Guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to Pine Cliff Lodge in Sunset Country. Uh, this is a place that's been on my list for a couple years. I've been in chat with the owners and we finally made it happen. Now it is the end of September. Uh, we're here for three days. The weather is stunning. This is not typical end of the season weather, but I'm going to take it. So anyways, I've heard lots about this lodge. We're here. I enrolled the two best fishermen I could find on short notice. I, where are they? <laughs> Here's Mark Tully and we got Jeremy Liscom. And this cabin is pretty, pretty cute. This Come on nice. in. It's lovely. It's nice. That is it. cool. If there's any interior designers in the house, Gonna love this, that. This, this cabin does have a good vibe. Yeah. I, I, I really like it, but Mark, are you gonna read the note? Pine Cliff Lodge. Welcome Jay, Mark, and Jeremy. We're so glad you guys are here. Hope you have a great time. Make yourselves at home and holla if you need anything at all. We know you're here for work, but hope it feels like play. Happy fishing. The Zimmermans, Derek, Kara, Rye, Sully, and Text. That's cute. That's so cute. They're all great, by That's the way. That's a nice touch. While I was planning this trip, they're like, who's coming with you? And then I'm like, well, I don't know. And then we're like, well, I need to know the name. So we got a special little touch. So. That was that was a nice touch. This this is great. You, you'll meet them yet. You'll meet uh, Derek and Carrie yet, but young young family that spends the winters in Texas and the summers up here at Pine Cliff. We're here for three days. Big Just bass, nice. big whitefish, big Lakers, big pike. We're going to cross them all off the list one at a time. And if we don't get them, we'll just come back and edit this. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is good. Mark's good on camera. So boys, we got the chalkboard. Fishes, size, I already know it. Big, with a big <laughs> chin, a big big. We just got one blank phone, I'll save time later. So if you guys have been following along on my channel for a while, I did a contest a number of years ago when I was launching the Thrive Visuals merch. And if you bought a piece of merch, you're entered into this contest. And Jeremy Liskam won a day fishing with me, which was gonna make a video, but it never did. Maybe you should ask Jeremy about that day, but we went musky fishing together. And no one ever saw the video, why is that? I was gonna say, I didn't think he'd wanna bring that up right now. <laughs> I thought we'd want to just let that memory just fade away because you never mentioned this it is redemption. until right now. So maybe just let that memory fade away. But yeah, we musky fished for two days and saw musky, caught no musky. I don't yeah, really know. That's, 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 that's kind of the story. end of the story right there. <laughs> so I, I felt so sorry for Jeremy that I was like, we need redemption. Let's bring him to a lodge. The only lodge on the lake. So that increases our odds on catching a fish. And uh, let's pick a species that's a little easier to catch in a musky. So this trip's all about Jeremy. I thought I was here because I was one of the best anglers you knew. That as well. Jeremy catches big bass. So anyways, <laughs> welcome to Pine Cliff Lodge. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a lodge with boat like th boats like this, at least not a freshwater lodge. These are sweet saltwater type rigs. Trolling motor, motorized anchor, graph on the front, graph on the back. These are sweet boats. They cater to a lot of fly fishermen here too. I I've just seen a lot of pictures on their social media and uh, those are pretty sweet boats to fly fish out of. But we got the Illumicraft this trip. We might photograph some of those other boats when they're out in a boat. So we got a couple spots marked. They said a lot of people fish near the lodge, so we're gonna do some exploring. It's a good sized lake and a lot of deep water. So find the bait, maybe find some fish. I'm gonna catch the biggest smallmouth bass of my life. I hope so. What's your biggest? Today, you'll see it. Watch <laughs> this. He doesn't want to say what his biggest bass is. <laughs> All right, we're out on a main lake point looking for lakers, looking for whitefish, looking for smallmouth, pike, everything. Looking for love, baby. I think we're gonna have a fun couple days with these boys. Uh, as I was setting up there, marking a couple fish on the live scope, I'm having some technical difficulties with my live scope recorder, but rest assured, they're fish. Like that one down below, I would say it's too big to be away. Yeah, I think those are lakers. Look at all the fish. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that fish started moving fast. Ooh, that guy's coming for one of us. Get ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh he's coming for mine, maybe. Got him. No Hooked up. It's got some weight. Oh. Yay. I don't know what it is. 
We were marking so many fish on LiveScope. This is gonna be a big moment. First bite of Pine Cliff, what do we got? And it's just moments onto this spot. We picked the most main lake reef we could find. It feels too heavy to be a white fish. On the little uh, scissor kick. You can pull that camera off the tripod if you want, Mark, if you want to play camera guy. First bite, and what surprised me is I saw pictures of some of the lake trout caught here, and they said most people come here and fish for bass. We're obviously fishing for everything off this reef, but I wasn't sure if they were gonna be whitefish, but it is, it's no whitefish. There's the knot, ladies and- Oh, that's a nice laker. Holy yeah! Oh, wow, that's fat. <laughs> Yes! That's it! That's a tank. Look at the fins on that thing. And that's the tiny little bait. What'd they say master was for a different fish? Yeah, I see what it says on the board. 30s trophy. All right, Pine Cliff. First bite. Look how fat that fish is. That is sweet. All right, Pine Cliff trophy's 30. Yeah, just a bit over 30. Jeez, and look at that. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna put this baby back because we are hopefully gonna put a smack down on them now because we're marking so many fish. Unreal. I'm using a Daiwa to tool this is a 7.1 medium light, and a 2500 size, this is a ballistic with eight pound braid. It handled that fish. I wouldn't have, like a 40 incher might've been a little scary, but the build on that, oh man. That's pretty that sick. Oh man. America. I will print this photo and put it on my wall. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Seen an eagle, seen a lake trout. Achievement unlocked. Things are good. We're getting, getting into that prime time window. Drop down, Mark, drop down. Man, there's a lot of fish here again. Are you on the Mark? I'm on one fish, a fish. There's more up the nose I can see further. I, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. It's a nice one, says Mark. It's a nice one. And I put the Mark Tully stamp of approval on this one. Jeremy's gonna be the net Every man. Every day of my week. Hot dog, I seen it come up on the live scope and it ate like a big red hot dog. <laughs> oh man. You think Laker or Whitefish? Oh, both, man. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Master Angler board. Write my name down and check the... Oh, oh. Ooh. it rolled. It rolled. <laughs> He's got his little pectoral fins up on my knot and he's trying to untie it. I left a long tag end on it. He's getting after it. Oh, oh yeah. He's nice. It's a, he's oh. burping. Oh, Look at those giant orange fins. Knit it, Jeremy, get it Knit in the net. Ah, yeah. Wow, that's big. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. That's the one. Is that a yellow perch? That's Tell a me. yellow perch. Yeah. <laughs> Professional photo shoot start now. <laughs> Show me the goods. Oh, yes, this is. Just picture perfect. Look at the pastels on that baby. Those fins just pop. They're long. This thing's halfway to being a flying fish. <laughs> it's unreal. Dude, the fins Those are everything. Colors. Is, is the sunlight catching every inch of that color? Because, oh man, in person, this is just insane. It's longer than our wallet. We have a bigger bump board, but we're calling that 33 and a half, I guess we'll see. yee Good release. Nice, buddy. Sunset. Yeah! Achievement unlocked. Check that box. Let's go. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Show, show the people at home what you caught your fish on, Mark. Right here, dragon slayer, head spinner combo. You whip them up and you paddle them down. Checking out a 20 foot hump here. The fish just ate me. No way. I felt the tap as it was falling. Come on. It's heavy. Okay. I don't know. It might be a pike. It's got to be a pike. Yeah. That's a nice gator. Hey, that's pretty yeah. good. There you go. That's probably a 30, eh, 32, 33. The average size of fish here, the class of fish is quite impressive. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. How many hook sets will it take? <laughs> that sharp little hook just wee in there. <laughs> Get him in the net, Jeremy! Oh, thank goodness! They don't make them small around here. Nice, another 30 incher maybe. Look at the fins on that one. 30 and a half. Mark, MVP. There she goes, oh! Goodbye! Oh! Jeremy! Hey, Jeremy's on! Hey! All right, Mark's on the net. Mark's on the net, what a night. Do you want me to net on the far side or the close side? Yeah, any side's good. Just just make sure it ends up in the net. Yeah. Oh, I see, see it. Already, Mark. There, she, there she is. Get her. Woo! 
Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Jeremy, is that the biggest one yet? I don't know. Look how fat that. that thing is. That thing is just oh. stupid. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. Oh, this is Jeremy's man. moment. This is oh, the lighting. The moon in the back. Oh. Jeremy, that's the nicest lake of your life. <laughs> Hands down. Well, let's see what we got. Probably another 30 incher. 31. 31. Nice. Okay, you're good. Oh, 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 perkalicious, definitious, that's fish is out of here. Well, boys, I think we call that a huge success for day one. We didn't really have a, a solid game plan of what we we're gonna fish for. We sampled a bit of the main lake stuff. The average size laker here is something special. They look very cool with the big fins and the big bellies. I think a big part of tomorrow, folks, is gonna be bass, because this is the time of year where bass are schooled up and the stories we were hearing of a chance of a five pound smallmouth. So our goal is to get Mark a personal best smallmouth tomorrow. This is my moment. The Laker is a little bit over two, 33 and a quarter, we'll call it. And then your other one was 31, we'll see. We're all on there. <laughs> on the board, day one. Wow. Yeah, one species off the list. It's not about the adventure, it's about getting on that chalkboard. <laughs> 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 Good morning from Pine Cliff Lodge. We are in the moose cabin. The boys are down at the dock already. Bass is gonna be the goal this morning. That lake trip fishing was like crazy. I know we mentioned it, but it was like fly in quality lake or fishing drive to. So pretty sweet. Anyways, the boys are getting ready. We're headed out. Pine Cliff Lodge, day two starts now. Oh, oh, eh, 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 eh. Welcome back! Jeremy says there's bass under us. We're trying, we're fishing real close to the lodge. We're trying a little main lake rock. Oh, they're right under us. Ooh, 14 feet. These look bassy, Mark. I could get them. Oh, what do we got, Mark? Oh, success, it's a personal best. Oh, oh yes! Look at, them, look at the pike behind it. Look at that pike behind it. Okay, when, when you guys see this bass, it's gonna blow your mind that a pike was chasing this. Look at that. They are and built. There, there was a jumbo pike chasing them. Hey. Okay, put him put him back. Put him back. Jeremy double might have the pike. Double double. Did you get the pike? The double double. Ridiculous. That's when yeah. the one it. You can throw it back. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a good pike. Yeah, <laughs> Woo! 35 and a half. Good that's job. He needs to beef up a little bit, but yeah, it looks quite long. That's there you go. On the board. Oh, Holy, this one's big. Is it? This one's what big. Is it? This one it? is huge. Okay, well, Mark, what'd you get? We were busy uh, releasing that pike. Okay, I just made everyone's day here with a butterball with an absolute jumbo like holy my endorphins are just screaming at me right now oh my gosh is this that is a, a pb oh my gosh it's a pb <laughs> log it 488 Woo. i'm gonna go ahead and give myself the extra 0 0.02 <laughs> 49 <laughs> <laughs> shake me that is the biggest bass of my life nice and as jay likes to say mark tully is a tournament angler <laughs> All right, that was good. Mark got his PB right away. Yes, it was good. We got the live scope rolling here with the recorder today. I think 15 to 20 feet. We're within sight of the lodge and we caught an almost five pound smallie already. This guy in the back. It's a me, a Mark. I'm a smashing bass back here. I just caught a small, small bass. I think I'm going to catch one. Oh my God, there's so many fish. Oh, so many fish. I might try an A-rig with how many followers we had there. Seems like this lake should be just magic for the A-Rig. Got one. Ooh, that didn't sound small. That sounds really big. I'm going to get the net. With the net, I can get him, I bet. First cast, or second cast of the A-Rig. That's a pretty big one. Oh, 
baby. That's a good one. Wow, that's a tall fish. Holy. Look how tall that fish is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the biggest bass I've ever seen by so much. <laughs> by so much. Yeah. This, it just doesn't do justice. Turn it sideways, turn it sideways. Show that belly. Like, that's insane. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Five point, we're gonna lock that one once it stops bouncing. I mean, we'll call it 5.3. 5.3. This is my biggest Northwest Ontario smallie. I can't get over that fish. Oh. That was the second cast on the air and we saw so many fish on this reef. Once again, you can see our cabin right behind us and we've got two smallies for 10 pounds, over 10 pounds. Look at all the fish down there, Jeremy. Now Mark's hooked up too. This is, this is Pine Cliff. Oh, this is super duper. 4.71 it locked yeah. in at. Ate it on the fall. Bigger than this, Mark. Big bass. Want to go check that hump from yesterday where there's- I got one. I got a fish. Hot dog. Oh, it's big. It's huge. Nice. Okay. That is a big pike. Look at that. Yeah, Pine Cliff Lodge, Mark Tully, everybody. 37 and a half. I added up, we got 22 pounds on our first spot of the day. It is 10.40 in the morning. We only started fishing at nine. That's, that's pretty spectacular. This is what we call the lake trout spot. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Feeding window. Oh, oh I got him. Oh. Is this the white fish? Jeremy! It might be the white fish. I don't think it's the white fish. We got a laker on. I got him. We got another one. Wow, the average is ridiculous. Uh, still 29, 29 and a half. Yeah. That's a pretty crazy average. And he's going. On. Ooh, yeah, baby. Get the net! Net now! Ooh, big fin, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice. When we were talking to Derek, the owner, this morning, he's like, yeah, we don't really catch them below 30 inches. And I would agree with that statement. Ooh, look at the sun hitting that. Cool, it's not too bright. Oh, it's very nice. 31. Well, we got distracted from the incredible bass fishing by the incredible lake trout fishing. I love that wispy dorsal. There's only so many rock piles and they're just pushed up against this rock pile in like 50 feet of water. These fish are all gonna slide up and spawn. Lake trout season closes in four days, three days. They're not shallow yet, but they seem to be stacked up in that 40, 50, so. If you could give one or two enthusiastic thumbs ups, what would you do? <laughs> There's oh, one. one. There's two. Oh. That felt like three. <laughs> oh. Should we get back on the small game or what do you guys think? Yep. Back on the small game, we can come here last light. It's so quick to get anywhere. Yeah. Got one. Oh, I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna get two. Get ready with the net. I might have two. I might have two. It feels so heavy. Just one big one. Just a jumbo. That's no problem. Ooh, that's a big one. A oh, wow. Oh, they like the A rig. Yeah, a little backlit. Oh, man. Five, one. It's bouncing a bit. Locked in at 507. That is some meat right there. Okay, we're gonna get a couple underwater shots of the housing as you release this beauty because that is such a sweet fish. Two five pounders. I've never caught a five pounder myself in Northwest Ontario and today I've got two. So right now we're at 23.57. So as I mentioned, the A-Rig, it's different by state, by province on how many hooks you can have. You might be like, oh Jay, you got five hooks on there. Actually what I did is I cut a couple of the hooks off. They're just dummy hooks. Pretty heavy gear. This is a Daiwa 7.3 swim bait rod, 30 pound fluoro. I got 65 pound braid. Cause there was other fish chasing. I thought I was gonna get two at once there. Got him. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, wow. Man. 18 inch or they're just footballs. My friend. That's a great pike. Way to go, <laughs> Jeremy. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh boy, that's wow. a big one. 
and we're on. Ooh. These are the bass we like. We found them, Mark. They're still here. Mark, drop down. They're still drop here. Down, drop, down, drop, down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. Got him. Nice. No way. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. No way. Y'all white bye bye. We thought the day was over. Mark was testing out a prototype. Can we show it right here? Right here. First one in the world. She likes the bottom. What do we uh what do you hook that fish on, Mark? The new prototype frostbite tube jig. Look at that silhouette. You can't see his lips moving and you just see the silhouette of the isn't that nice? <laughs> you don't know if he's talking or not. Oh guys, right back down to bottom. Right back down to bottom. I don't know the last time I've landed a fish is dark. The camera makes it look bright, but that's not what it looks like to the human eye. Here we go. She's coming up. She's coming up. Keep her away from that live scope. Oh. It looks pretty big. It's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big orange fins. Wow. Two popped out. Wow, that's a really orange one. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> These genetics are getting wild out here. Wow. Oh, I'm happy with that one. It is, it is dark out here, but uh, that orange is illuminated. You gotta give him a little bit of chiropractor work. Oh, oh. oh hey. <laughs> Done got, yeah, once you get, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that a wrap for the day? We're calling that a wrap for the day, go sir. Hang up the rods. That's good for me. Nice work. Good morning. Day three. We, we needed to add a lot of fish there. We're, we're not going to keep up on that. Today, this morning, you're going to meet the Zimmermans, the owners of this fine place, Kara. Derek. We're gonna do a little photo shoot for them. They're gonna come fish beside us and they're just lovely people. But not too many like young lodge owner couples, so it's it's cool to see. And they're the only ones on the lake, if I didn't mention. They got the only boat launch. So if you wanna fish this lake, you gotta come here. All right guys, we need introductions. I'm putting you on the spot at 7.30 in the morning. This is the Zimmerman family. I'm Kara Zimmerman. Derek Zimmerman. Roy Zimmerman. Roy Zimmerman. Sully. Sully. What's your name? Tex. Tex Zimmerman. Tell me a little bit about you guys. We purchased a lodge in 2019 uh, from family. It's been in the family for over 25 years, almost now 30, 30 now. 30 years. Yeah. And how long are you guys going to be up here? What's your season like? We start the third weekend in May and we end the last of September. So right now, we're the so last right now, crew? We're here. We're the last week. Well, What's even that? Oh, don't pull that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> pull the life jacket. The boys are, the, the family's going to be our models this morning. So we're going to see if they can get a lake trope. We're going to get some shots of them boating out. Yeah, it's a full boat of boys. Jeremy's on. We'll hand it over. So is this your first Laker? That one. <laughs> well, Sally caught his first lake trout thanks to Jeremy. Mm. Yep. Got him. All right, who wants the trout? Woo -wee. Good things are happening. I'll get the net. Okay. We got another one. Oh. He's He's been eating some smelts, that's for sure. <laughs> What's going on with his dorsal there? Jeez. I don't know. That is great. Just a character fish, a character home. Oh, see you later. Okay, good. Puffing a little blood, yeah. but she did nice. We joke about that Morgan Wallen song about she lets me, oh. Oh my God. Holy. You got a good dad. Yeah, that was a good save. That was so close to going swimming. That was crazy. We're gonna try a little bit of pike fishing. We haven't really actually targeted pike. We're gonna cast this one weed bed here and then we're gonna go try a couple 
bass humps and probably call it a trip. This has been some of the best drive to fishing I've ever seen. He's gonna bite. Got him. Whoa! Oh! 470 at locked out. I'll take that. Got him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that is pretty big. Look at that ham. <laughs> he got him. Oh, it's big. It's brown. Oh, he's hooked up. Oh. oh, love it or hate it, the A-Rig just crushes. Oh, he's on my lawn. Thanks, Jeremy. Here's your everyday Mark Tully with an everyday smallmouth bass. That's a wrap, we're back at the cabin. I am certainly gonna be back to this place. Best smallmouth fishing I've seen in Northwest Ontario. Hands down, laker fishing, incredible average size. Pretty good action too. It's a nice sized lake, you can always get out here. Anyways, Derek and Kara are amazing hosts. Thanks to them for hosting us. And uh, yeah, you should check out Pine Cliff Lodge if you're looking for a pretty sweet trip, do it yourself style. They've got boats, the boats are included with the package, or you can bring your own like we did, but it's a private launch. So the only ones on the lake, which is a pretty cool deal. That's all I got, thanks to Jeremy and Mark for joining me. Just another adventure in the books. Wear your life jackets, guys, please. See you next time. <laughs>